click on that. Okay, so that's that one. I do this pretty much the same way every time. Just make it so I can see the box. All right, so that's kind of sort of working. Let's go back to playback. Let's go to render. Let's put it on smart. Let's it get rendered out. You can see the red line pops up. There's just something going on. I don't know if it's a graphics card or if it's the program or what, uh, but something's clearly going on. It's rendering out. I will just keep this one for now. This is primarily me killing time on a Sunday morning when I can't sleep. And it takes it a second to render. Really looking forward to when I get my new graphics card next month. I'm going to go from what this one is, which is 8 gigabyte, I believe, of virtual RAM for the graphics card to 16 gigabyte. So by doubling it, and only having that running, nothing else running, I, I really anticipate that it will be a whole lot faster. So now that's done, it should play rather flawless. I don't know why that did that. That was weird. That should go all the way back to the beginning. And if I play it, because it's rendered out, it'll play through pretty quickly. There we go. So now if I wanted to change this at all, I just go in here and change this to whatever I want it to be. And we're going to call it Sunday morning thoughts. Then if we, you'll notice it's now re-rendering because we made a change and we'll just hit enter and it'll render out. If we hit play, it should speed up the render. And you see it started to render, but you can see right there that it also hesitates a little bit. So we're just going to let that do its thing. So I'm going to bring this back down to grab the video. So that rendered out pretty quick over here. Kind of missing a little spot there, a little spot there. I think it will render. If we play it, that looks pretty good. And those are all gone, by the way. Now, I just went ahead and made a decision that if I need any of this stuff, I will go find it. But I don't think it's going to be needed, so um, we'll just let it go as it is for now. All right, so what do I want to do now? Well, as you know, I like to go in here and add cute little things to this. And one of the things I like to use that I seem to have lost is my arrow. Now, I thought my arrows was under essential tiles. I'm going to go in here. This is a golden tile. This is a cinematic tile, which is the one I'm using to open it up with. This is the ribbon. This is scrolling text at the bottom. No arrows. So let's go to essential tiles 2023. This is basically the same thing. So maybe it's not in tiles. These are all from Sunny, different things I've got. Is it a generator? Let's go look at a generator. Central generator. Where's the arrow line? That's not what I want. Central background. All right, I went and looked to see where it's at. It's up on the northwest side of Indianapolis. And this actually did go into this. As you can see there, it's got the raindrop effect on there. So that's going to be for the entire clip. And if I bring this down and scroll through here, then it's going to take in a minute. So that's kind of cool on some respect, I guess. Go ahead and make that bigger and go back to the beginning. Now, I'm not sure why it's not going all the way back. That should also actually go back to like it just did right there. Now, the question is, can I remove this? Now, I believe if I, yeah, see up here in your inspector, by clicking on the clip, it shows essential raindrops. And if we, if we bring this over here, and turn this off, then it goes away. You can turn them on and turn them off. You can also effect, effectively change the speed, change the size of the drips, the mapping scale. I don't really see where that's doing anything. The angle, I don't see that that's doing anything. The curly dripping, don't see that's doing anything. The path, um, I don't really see some of these are working. And then to set it back, you just double click on everything you've changed and it'll put everything back to where it was. Or you can go up here and hit this. Um, I don't like that, that's all blurry. I don't like that at all. 
Um, let's go back to image only. Let's see if we can minus two refraction. That's changing. We should go back to minus two. Light power is 20. If we bump that up, no. Nope. Put that back. Blur background, five. Ooh. There, oh, there we go. So if we take the blurred background back, it gets clearer, or we can blur it to oblivion. Um, what does this one do? This one's not really doing That's the drops. All right, so I got a, I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to go back to image with raindrops, and I'm going to take the blur drops background down and this down the light power down nope I don't want to change that with the spread I'm going to get rid of the spread no nope, I can't do it all the way what about refraction no nope, can't do that all the way what I'm trying to do to make the drops go away by setting keyframes but there's no keyframe on the output you can only keyframe when you're in specific things so Let's go ahead and set these keyframes just to make sure we get them set. Let's take the drops down to nothing. Oh, can't set that keyframe. So let's put it back. Um, now this one you can set the size on that. That, but you can't set the keyframe on this one yeah see I wanted them to I wanted to make them completely go away let's go ahead and put those back to where they were large drop size detail large drop size yep that's not working well there we go it went the wrong way all right so now let's set keyframes there and there and then let's go uh, 10 frames, which I believe is if you hit, is it shift in the arrow? That's one single frame, right? That went from 624 shift and the right arrow is one frame. So that's not what I want. Let's try control. Nope. Let's try alt. Nope. Um, Control shift. I know there's a way you can make this go 30 seconds or so shift. Okay, so uh oh, I gotta pay more attention to what I'm doing when I do this stuff. Control does not do anything, alt does not do anything. Shift takes it one second in advance. So we're gonna go. I'm going to go 10 seconds. I'm going to go four seconds. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go back to my keyframes that are set and I'm going to bring that to there. That looks pretty funky. And then we're going to bring this up as well. Blur the background. I'm going to bring that and that. Then we're going to go another 10 seconds or four seconds, five seconds. Go five seconds, and then we are going to basically turn them all back to nothing. And then we're going to play it. We're going to go back to here, and we're going to play it.
and I have my new, I now have something that I just created that I really kind of do like. I have to remember this. Now, what I would like to do, what I would really like to do is I'd really like to go ahead and bring this to here, make a cut, move this out of the way, open this infusion, and I doubt that it does what it's supposed to do. Let's play it in fusion, and it does not. Okay, so that does make sense. I wanted to make a preset for myself to make the macro. I like this. I do actually like this. Um, so one of the things I want to do is I want to uncheck this stuff because I don't need any audio for this. I do want this to be um, I'm actually trying to get creative this morning. That's a good thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and relink the two clips. And I'm going to delete the two clips. Now why did I do that, you're asking yourself. going to be kind of boring. I should put some background music in this because I'm I'm trying to create something that I may or may not be able to do. Um, with, I'm going to go do this infusion, magic, mask. I want to add that to there. And then in the magic mask, I want to... Do I want to do that? Now yeah, let's delete that. I don't think that's what I want. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and render this out. Haven't heard the bell on Zoom, so I can only assume I got about 11 minutes left, and that will be the 40 minute time frame. But I'm going to let it run. I don't guarantee that this will work. I, I suspect it might work. I think the clocks are running. That's taking some of the memory away. I mean, it's rendering okay. It's actually tracking it out a little quicker than I thought. I like to do my stuff from the zero frame, and I like to track it both forward and backwards just to be safe. I don't have to. If I start at frame zero, I just need to track it forward. But by doing the <clears throat> tracking it forward and backwards, I know that I'm getting everything. My theory is by tracking this out, I can put it over itself and the effect will be there and the text will come through. That's my theory. I don't know that it will. I don't know that it won't work. 
All right, so there we go. Now we're going to go back over here to here, and then we're going to put this over that, and then we hit play. Yeah, that kind of did what I wanted it to do briefly. This is coming through. So that came through. It goes from that. And then when that gets fully rendered out, then it shows the feature in Ken Stop Live with that in the background. And then it goes directly into that. I, I do have to shave that off and I do know that. So let's Let's let that get rendered. I'm going to pause the video while it renders. Okay, so we just had someone enter the Zoom. And because of it being enabled, they I have to let them in. It's at 9.43. I don't think I'm going to record this the entire 40 minutes. But my suspicion is 40 minutes from right now, that will actually shut. Zoom will actually shut down due to the 40 minute no activity I believe so this is taking its sweet time rendering out but I think this is gonna work so now if I bring this in here yeah see I just created my own little thing there that's kind of cool I like that go back to the beginning now I need to bring back down the video itself by closing this out and closing that out and then this is the original video so I clearly need that and then we're gonna do that and we're gonna let that all get in there as well uh, I'm like I even though this is not exactly how I wanted it I, and I could go in there and fix this. I know I could take this and move this over here.